Dear students, let us begin a new class with invoking the presence of the Almighty. So today we will discuss uh, chapter 15, the drainage system. Now in this chapter we will discuss about the drainage system of India and it consists of Himalayan rivers and uh, peninsular rivers and uh, you see the three stages of river system, upper course, middle course and what is lower course. Then, uh, we will discuss more about the Himalayan rivers, then again uh, Brahmaputra river system, then Peninsular river system and economic importance of rivers and, and these all are the uh, you know, important po points that we are going to discuss in cha this chapter. The drainage system, first of all the word drainage system is used for the systematic content of rivers. It is the the drainage system is used for the systematic pattern of the river. The systematic pattern of rivers. While observing the geography of India, it is seen that one main river along with the tributaries come different directions. And the flow of water from one uh, another is called a water divide. It's very important. What is water divide? When a mountain or an upland separates the flow of water from one another, originating from the <coughs> top of the mountain and in between the upper, uh, mountain or upper land separates this curse then and it is called a water divide. The drainage system mainly Himalayan rivers and the uh, peninsula rivers. And the rivers uh, India divided into two zones according to the physical features due to this large differences among the Himalayan and the peninsula rivers. And the river system and the picture is given and different stages of river, the case of the river upper curse, middle curse meander, lower curves and the lake and finally reaching in the uh, lake. Then three stages of the river, upper course, middle course and the lower course. And when a river starts from the mountain region, it causes intense erosion and it carries huge volume of sand and uh, sediments along with it. And its flow decreases in its middle and lower courses. Meanders are seen in here and uh, near its delta river divided into many tributaries this divided area turns into very fertile plain and uh, triangular shape uh, and this uh, triangular shape the region is called the uh, delta and uh, box uh, symbol uh, one box is given dendritic pattern trellis rectangular region radial pattern is given <coughs> so these all are the main tributaries as seen in the uh, Indian rivers. Then what about page number uh, 116? What about uh, Himalayan rivers? Sindhu, Ganga, Brahmaputra are major rivers originating from Himalayan. So these are the three rivers. Sindhu, Ganga and Brahmaputra are the three major uh, originating from uh, Himalayan. These rivers are long and many tributaries meet in them. When the large river and have many tributaries meet, they form a shape which is called a system. Then what is Sindhu river system? River Sindhu emerges from Manasarovar in Tibet, first flows to the north south, then towards the west and all the And the river Sindhu is about, about 2,900 km long. And in 1960, a treaty was signed with Pakistan regarding the distribution of water in Sindhu river. The accordingly, India can use only 20% of this water. Then, Ganga river system, rivers, uh, Bhagiradi and the Alagananda emerging from Gangotri are uh, Himalayan, Mayardiva Tanar, Devapraya and Ganga leaves the mountains of Taras and enters the plain near uh, Haridwar. And Brahmaputra river system, river Brahmaputra originates near uh, Mansarawar in Tibet. Its uh, source is the near and the place of origin of rivers, Sindhu and uh, Tathlet. Most of its flow outside India, the river flows in the east parallel Himalayan mountain system. Near Namcha Barwa, it takes U10 and enters the Arunachal Pradesh. Here it is known as Bihar. The Brahmaputra is uh, Arunachal Pradesh. The Brahmaputra known is uh, is known as Bihar, and uh, and in China, you know, Andhra Pradesh, Brahmaputra is, uh, is as the Tassanko in Tibet and as Jamuna in uh, Bangladesh. Then. That is very important. You can, uh, Brahmaputra is also known as uh, in Tibet as uh, Jamuna in uh, Bangladesh. Then peninsular rivers. 
Western Ghats is considered to be the main water divide for Peninsula rivers. Major rivers of the Peninsula Mahanadi and Godavari, Krishna, Kaveri, etc. Then Narmada Basin. The Narmada originates near Amar Katha Plateau in Madhya Pradesh. It flows westward and Rift Valley. It flows through the rocky terrain marbles near the Jabal. Then Tapsi Basin is there. Then Godavari Basin is there. Mahanandi Basin, Krishna, Kaveri Basin. So read all these, these things. Then what is lakes? The, there are many lakes in India. Freshwater lakes are found more in the Himalayan region. Most of the lakes contain water during rainy season. Sambar Lake in Rajasthan is, is a saline lake. <coughs> it's very important. The saline lake, usually the lakes contain fresh water. But in Rajasthan, the Sambar Lake is a saline lake. And what are the importance of lakes? Lakes are useful to man in many ways. Some rivers are originated from lake and the regions but utilized for irrigation and other purpose. Then economic important. What are the economic important? This one also very important. Rivers have remained most important during the human history. Rivers are the natural resource of water. These are very much important for many human activities. It has satisfied basic need of man and then agriculture. Agriculture and industries are developed due to rivers. The main importance is the agriculture is developed around the coastal region of the uh, rivers. Major cities are developed along with the river banks. Delhi, Kolkata, Ahmedabad, Baruj, Surat, etc. are situated on the bank of the river. River is considered to be the base of an agrarian country like India. In recent times, river water is utilized for drinking, irrigation, hydro power and for navigation. Then, how the rivers become polluted? polluted. The, river was, the river water is used more in domestic activities, agriculture and in industrial production. We know the rivers as Lokmada. Rivers is considered as a Lokmada. The savage water is dumped into the river near the city. Besides, we throw solid waste in the rivers. So that is also a main region to polluting the rivers. And the government also is putting some special effort to prevent the river pollution. And at this stage, public participation is equally expected along with the government's efforts. Now, uh, measures to prevent the water pollution. This one, this one also very important. The rules to prevent water pollution should be implemented very strictly. Water purification projects must be implemented through the National River Conservation Project. What is that project? National River Conservation Project. Strict rules should be formed to prevent industrial units from releasing industrial effluence in the rivers. Industrial units uh, should be filter harmful contents from the chemical uh, effluences before releasing them into the river. In order to keep the river water clean, every citizen should take care of not to mix up the domestic waste into the river. So it's our duty to do not throw the uh, house waste or wastage from uh, big factories. So do not uh, directly throw out to the rivers. So that's the main uh, polluted. Now what is NCRP, National River Conservation Project and second one is National River Conservation Project introduced in the second stage of Yagga River Purification. So, so dear students, so a small chapter and please complete uh, this drainage system and mainly you uh, remember the drainage, the word drainage system is used for the systematic pattern of rivers. It's not, uh, remember the meaning, the drainage system means uh, the systematic pattern of the river so, and uh, drainage systems and the three stages of river uh, river systems and uh, different Himalayan rivers and uh, about the Brahmaputra rivers, Peninsula rivers and different basins are there. Then what are what is what are lakes or importance of uh, importance of lakes? Then economic importance of rivers. Uh, 
and uh, how the river uh, river become uh, polluted and what are the measures to prevent the water pollution so these all are the important so self study uh, write short note on the following five questions are there answer the following three questions and then uh, mcq questions are also given so uh, complete the exercise today itself complete the note you are asked to submit the notebook on the school so uh, whenever you receive the lecture so the, the next day itself so please complete the notes okay so of course we will keep the uh, google form mcq test uh, as soon as possible uh, combining with the one or two chapters okay we'll see you in the next class till then take care bye bye